What's up? It's me. Obviously, I'm in my car. I can talk to you and I don't have to worry about a thing. I just keep my eyes on the road. It is 12.37 p.m. and I just finished my third audition of the day and I'll be home in time for lunch. I had a voiceover audition that I recorded at home. When I get auditions from the Denver agent, I have to self-record and send it in. When I get auditions from my agent that's here in LA, I just go to her office. She has a booth in her office and I record there and she, she likes to direct. So I got the, got the audition yesterday. I couldn't get into the studio. So when that happens, I know I have to wait until until late at night to record at home because otherwise uh, there are leaf blow blowers and lawnmowers and dogs barking and babies crying and just all just activity just so much stuff going on nobody wants to hear all that on tape and no matter what room I go into you're gonna hear hear something so I just wait until the middle of the night when it's very very quiet and I record and it works out well so I did that at about 2 this morning and then I had a, com a commercial audition first. Oh, and let me tell you about this commercial audition. What happened? Something really strange happened at the commercial audition. And right after the commercial audition, I had a theatrical audition. And they were right around the corner from one another. I love it when that happens and that I don't have to, to worry about a lot of travel time between the two because traffic in LA, I'm sure you've seen it on TV. If you don't live here or you've never visited here, you've heard about it and it's it's something to behold. Behold and not be in is, is, is better, but yeah, it's not cool to be in it when you, you're trying to keep your mind on your audition. Uh, you need to focus, you need to run your lines, you need to stay in character and somebody's cutting you off and you're, you know, hopefully not flipping people to bird, but these people out here will make you lose your religion. So at the audition today, with a commercial audition, I was waiting to audition. I had already signed in. And <laughs> I hear this guy uh, go, is that a knife? So, of course, uh, everybody looks. But, you know, I, I'm trying to be cool and not stare at whoever's got a knife. I just want to know who I need to get away from. Is that a knife? And the guy with the, with the knife in his pocket, it's sticking out of his pocket, gives him this evil look and says, yeah, that's the least dangerous thing on me. And he stares at him for a long time. Uh, the room got uncomfortably quiet. Uh, the, it's a large waiting space. Everybody in that area who heard the exchange got quiet. It was an uncomfortable silence. And the guy who asked the question, is that a knife? He, you know, he was just like, I mean, he basically back down first it was like two animals facing off and and you you know hey I give and then finally the other dude turned away but he was he was very very aggressive he had a knife I mean, he had an attitude and you don't bring weapons to auditions what is the matter with you even if your scene calls for you to pull out a gun and you bring a prop gun, there is no way for casting or other actors to know whether that's a real gun or a prop gun. I mean, you're not going to, if you're auditioning for NCIS, LA, or whatever, you're the bad guy, you're not going to pull out a gun that's obviously a toy gun. You're not going to pull out an orange or pink or green gun, something like that. You're going to go and find a gun, maybe a pellet gun or something that looks like a real gun. But if you bring that in there, it makes everyone feel uncomfortable because we have such a culture of violence in, in this, this country. You don't know who's, who's got what. And it could be that the person says, okay, well, it's common sense. It's obviously not a real gun. Or, but this dude had a real knife. It was a commercial audition. I don't know what kind of commercial he thought he was going to do with a knife, like unless they're selling knives, I don't think I even see knives in, real knives in auditions. I don't understand. So I, I tweeted, I didn't tweet what the audition was for, where it was, this guy's name, I don't even know his name, but I wouldn't have tweeted that because there's some things that you don't put out publicly. Information that you may be privy to, 
when you audition that you don't pull out, put out publicly. And someone, uh, one of my Twitter followers responded with, you should hear the debate that's going on here in Texas. She lives in Texas about the right to carry. I do understand that. Um, my dad is ex-military. He is all about his weapons and uh, may, you know, occasionally find a reason to transport one. But that's not the culture in Los Angeles. And there is no reason for you to have a weapon of any type at a commercial audition. Bonehead actor, inconsiderate actor, bad actor, don't do it. <laughs> okay, so if you're thinking about it, don't do it. But I left there and I went to my theatrical audition. I had to change clothes in between. I have on a tank top right now. I did not wear this to, uh, I didn't audition in this. I just wore it so that I wouldn't have to be, be a half naked in my car in between auditions or while changing my clothes because I have been I have been most actors have been you know you get multiple auditions you get multiple changes of clothes you do what you got to do so I changed in my car I got to my other audition and uh, there were several people ahead of me so I just paced in the hallway and said my lines to myself and stayed in character and then they called me in and I'm very happy with what I did on a scale of 1 to 10 I would give it a 9 yeah 10 is reserved for those those moments where I know I was stellar and it feels like I'm plugged in and uh, yeah so I am uh, I'm heading home I'm gonna turn off the uh, camera I have the windows up. My AC stopped working. I need to go and, and I need to take my car into the shop. So I'm hot right now. <laughs> and I can't roll down the windows because then you guys get like the, the traffic noise and everything. So I am going to turn this camera off and open the windows so I can get some air because I'm starting to glow. I will talk to you later. Wait a minute, I can't turn off the camera until, until I stop driving. Hang on! <laughs> Y'all gotta roll with me until we reach the next stoplight. So how's your day going? Tell me in the comments. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe, okay? Because I see y'all watching. And comment too. I love to, love to hear comments and I will respond. Okay, bye-bye.